Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and packing video for a bag style that you probably have heard of. I feel like it's been going around a little bit on YouTube and on social media. It's the brand Hap. And I'm going to be showing you guys mine, which is the Page Carry All in the Dusty Rose color, which is, in my opinion, absolutely stunning. So I'm currently in kind of like my new filming area. I don't know if this is going to always be the setup. This is sort of how I have it just now to be able to make this video. I do have my home tour coming really, really, really soon. I've had a bunch of people asking me to make it and almost everything is ready. There's just a couple other things that I really want to have done in order to just feel like I can really show it to you guys and that, I, that I'll be really, really proud of. There's just a few extra little projects that need to get finished up here in the next week or so and then I really, really hope to be bringing that to you guys for my next video. <laughs> but until then, let's get into this bag. So I've had this bag for a little while actually. Um, Hap was nice enough to reach out to me I think almost two months ago actually and asked if I was interested in a bag and I initially said no for a few reasons but ultimately because I was moving and I just didn't know if I would have time and I just told them that the way I like to do my reviews when I'm sent a bag is basically that I want to have full freedom of how I do my video and they were awesome because they came back and they said absolutely we'd like to send you a bag do whatever you want with it let us know what you think and they've been really <laughs> pretty great because I have had this bag for over a month now and I haven't, I'm just now getting to make a video. Uh, we moved middle of July and it's been kind of crazy. I've been gone. I was in Georgia last weekend to see my best friend Amber for her get together. Melody got sick this week and it's just been kind of crazy. It's been a great summer, but it has been really busy as I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. <laughs> I am excited to show you guys how I have this packed up. So without further ado, let's get on to the packing portion. All right, so as I said before, this is the carry-all page, and I have it in the dusty rose color, which I think is absolutely stunning, and I'm really excited because I have it packed up with a lot of Donatella Sweet Shop, and I just feel like as a girl mom especially, I'm absolutely loving getting to just sort of go girl mom crazy a little bit on this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the outside of the bag looks like, but before I do that, I wanted to show you that this bag does come with a crossbody strap. It's a seatbelt strap, it's one and a half inches wide, and it's really nice to use. I just have found that I really, really enjoy the tote style straps on this, and I love the way it looks kind of as just a purse. So I like to use it without the straps, but if you do need to have a crossbody strap, you can attach it to this D-ring here, and then there is one D-ring over here. And it's perfectly fine to carry it that way, but like I said, I just prefer to use it as a designated tote bag. You can also buy a change pad. These are sold separately, and I believe they are $14. If that's not right, I will leave the correct price up here but it's a pretty standard change pad it's nice and thin so it would fit compactly in a bag but it does have a little bit of padding so that's really nice that's what you have there I'm just somebody who likes to use a very thin disposable change pad in the bag itself but you do have the option of buying one separately if you'd like to have one that matches the bag and this one does beautifully before I show you all the things I have in the bag I just want to go ahead and kind of talk about the features a little bit this one is quilted as are pretty much all of their bags which makes for a very satisfying tactile experience I guess but it also makes the bag super lightweight and then you get the cute little logo down here which is adorable so you get the front pocket over here which is a zipper pocket and in here I am using it as my kind of my main things that I reach for all the time so I have my wallet which right now is a jujube small set piece in the Donatella sweet shop print and I have a small set piece strap attached also in here I have my chapstick which is always with me and my sensible mama pen gem pen on the back of the bag is a very generously sized pocket with a magnetic closure here. And I have kind of the rest of my mommy stuff in here. So it's a little bit of a mess, I apologize, but I'll just go ahead and show you guys what I have. I have my little makeup kit. I have some gum. I've got my sunglasses, some hand sanitizer, my earbuds, measuring tape, my checkbook. And I think that's all of it, yes. And we can get on to the interior of the bag. Before we do that though, I just wanna show these straps and how amazing they are. They are super cushy and very wide. So they're very, very comfortable. And although the material is sort of a slippery, wipeable material, they don't slip because you have an option of attaching them together with the clasp, which I actually do all the time, because then they hold together on your shoulder really well. And that's part of the reason why I haven't felt like I needed to use the crossbody strap. So I think that's a super cool um, function and obviously shows that whoever was designing this bag really had moms in mind and moms on the go. 
Now we can get into the interior portion of the bag. It does have double zippers, which is awesome. And they both extend the full length of the bag and down a little ways, which allows for this like metal frame, which holds the bag open like this to function and allow you to see the whole thing. Because this bag is lightweight and it's made out of sort of a collapsible material, you still get a lot of structure with the bag and it still stands up on its own because of this metal frame. And I, I love that. So this is pretty much everything I have in here and I love that you can see it all. You can see it all really easily when this is like this. So I love to hang this off my stroller or whatever and you can just see all the things you need. And I will go ahead and take out the things in the pockets first so you can see what I have going on. So right here I have my diapering stuff which are two size four diapers and like I said that disposable change pad that I like to carry as well as some wipes. This is my wipe pouch 60 in the Donatella print. The two pockets on the side are great options for bottles. They're a little bit smaller and elasticized, so they're perfect for things like a snack tower or like a sippy cup. And then you get two more of those identical sort of slip elasticized pockets on the sides. So I have Rhea's blanket in one of them. This is the Copper Pearl Snuggle Blanket in the black, the Bloom print. And typically she's been really attached to her Baby Olay Oh So Soft blankets, but she took to this one right away when I brought it home from her after getting it from the Sensible Mama. This is an amazing blanket and I love it. I actually used it on the plane on my way back. And then also in that pocket, I had a pacifier for Rhea. And then in the other pocket over here is where I keep like snack items that are not in the Go Stack snack tower. So I have my Replay Infant Spoon and my Go Silly uh, Straw, which I use for myself, but also for my daughters, as well as the Go Silly glass topper. So this works and goes around really, really big glasses. And then you can use the straw with it, which is really awesome. I also have some snack pouches in here. My daughter, my youngest daughter is a year and a half and absolutely loves these. And I also have some fruit snacks and a fruit roll up. So those are all the pockets in the bag and I will show you what I have sort of in the bottom. I've got some shoes for my youngest daughter because I've mentioned in videos before that we typically carry her out to the car, but then we end up forgetting shoes and she's old enough now where she likes to walk around. So I just like to keep those in the bag. And then I have a little pouch which I made and that has all of our hair stuff for both of the girls. In the bottom there I have a large be organized from Jujube in the Donatella Sweet Shop print. And this has changes of clothes for both of the girls. And then also in the bottom I have a medium set piece from Jujube in the Donatella Sweet Shop print. And this has all of our first aid stuff in it. So that part is nice to have extra inside the bag. And I absolutely love the structure and the size of the bag. It's like this bag is the perfect width and shallowness so that you can see everything, but it also has enough height that I was able to stack some of the things on the bottom that I don't reach for all the time, but I definitely want to be able to access if I need to, like the changes of clothes, which we don't really use all that often, and the medium set piece. Items that I wanna have with me, but not things that I'm reaching for all the time. So I love being able to put those ones in the bottom and then there's still plenty of room to access all of these pockets, but I don't have to worry about not having these things. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looks when I pack it all back up. So that's what it looks like when it's all packed up. And this just makes me so happy to be able to see all of the things and also to just see all of the pink Donatella. And yes, I just, it just makes me really love being a girl mom. So when I go to close up the bag, this is my, my only issue with the bag, but it's something that I've gotten kind of used to now, so it's not, a, it's not a big deal. But if you're getting this bag, just keep in mind that this metal frame is amazing, but because of the metal frame, it is a good idea to use two hands when you go to close the zipper, using one hand to hold the tab down over here and using the other hand to zip it across. Once it's shut like this, you don't have to worry about it as much. It's much easier than to close the other side, but just something to keep in mind. It's a fantastic, I love it, but if you're somebody who hates that, that like metal frame opening style, you might not love this, but I, I think it's great. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys because it's something that I a lot of times do. You can see there's still quite a bit of empty room in here. So a lot of times what I will do is take my ring sling or whatever carrier I'm using and pop that right in the middle because then I have it for wherever we're going to church or whatever else. So I think that's just about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.